Notice it's a lot more stable. Ooh! Ooh! Spider here for this video of doing the battle between Curse the Tomb S6 and Super Hyperion H6. Yes, the battle of the Speedstorm to get attack versus defense. Or I guess I have to say defense versus attack in this case because you know it's the tomb then Hyperion at whatever. Um this was requested by quite a few people, so um no specific shout-outs. I'm just gonna Battle. I hate giving shoutouts like when a lot of people request it because I don't want to show like a few people that miss some other than everyone's be like, oh well, I requested that too. And yeah, it gets kind of hectic. So, not this. I w wish I could give a shout out to specific people, but there's just a lot of them. So, I'll just continue on. All right. Um, I put the um flow frame, the black flow frame on Cursed Tomb. And I put on a red vortex frame. <laughs> well, I'll put a red vortex frame on Super Hyperion, so this should be um, this should be more balanced, at least. Let's see how they perform in general. Three, two, one, that. I already know Curse does pretty well. Hyperion should do better. Yeah. This was just this is just like a test round, I guess. Yeah, okay. So that round doesn't count. Alright, so now I'm gonna do this. Um, five points. Well, so five point battle in this stadium, and then a five point battle in the Volt Knockout Base Stadium. And we'll start right now. Three, two, and the right. Who will win? Curse the Tomb or Super Hyperion? Okay. <laughs> this is the thing about the Red Speedstorm Stadium, the attack types don't really attack that much. It's still a good stadium, especially if you don't want the battles to go away too fast. Alright. Hyperion lost that one. Two two right. Press the tomb. Getting some easy victories. Whoa, huge hit. Huge hit! First, nah. Oh, oh. I'm gonna throw that one out. Not in the mood to go over um the camera and all that slow mo stuff. I'm just gonna um keep going. You two one left. Right. Come on, Piran, you can get something. Let's see if I Piran can get a burst on Satoon. Okay, I'm giving that one to Satoon, so that would be 2 to 0. Hyperion is taking um, quite a few L's right now, well, only took 2 so far. We need to see if it can make a comeback. What if I launch it first? Right. Right. I did not mean to wait so long and I did not mean to hit the camera stand. Come on. Yeah, I guess launching Hyperion first wasn't the um, best of plans. Alright, let's try this again. Right. Right. Ooh, yes! Come on, Hyperion! Get those hits! Get the burst! Come on, Hyperion! And you still lost. Okay. You barely moved the slope. See, curse it's, the curse ring is really good. These tomb slopes are kind of eh, but it's just the curse ring. Like the wheels actually work. Like they actually rotate, so do two in there. Look! Look! They're placed in good spots. Because obviously Cursed Tomb has some great burst resistance. Like great burst resistance. Come 
and Hyperion finally gets a point. So it'll be four to one. Okay, Hyperion, let's see if you can make this comeback. Yes, get it, Hyperion, use your super, whoa! Hyperion, use your super, whoa! Whoa. I didn't even have a chance to say the name. All right, I was gonna say Super Strike, but uh, looks like Hyperion is already in on it, and it still manages to take the L. First, the tomb wins in this red Speed Storm Stadium, and the slips didn't move after all those big hits. See, look, these bays have some great burst resistance. I don't want to hear any hate against Speed Storm. Speed Storm is really good. It's Hasbro's best system, in my opinion. Alright, let's get this out of here. We'll be right back. Told you we'd be right back. Alright. Um, Volt Knockout Base Stadium. Still a five point match. Let's see if Hyperion can defeat Curse here. This is gonna be interesting. Keep doing that. I love the. Surge zones in the stadium, like those little circles in there. I, just, I love how um, Hasbro implemented them in here. So, this is actually an anime stadium. Ooh, for those who don't know, this stadium will actually be represented in Baby Surge. Well, the anime. So that was Curse with the first victory. Three, two, one, left. Well, at least I, I think it was Curse. <laughs> You know, okay, Kurt, that was obvious. I'm just gonna count this one, so that'll be one to zero. Cause just like the red in the red stam, I did like one test battle in there. I'm just, I'm just gonna like throw one round out, but count the other. So I'm still gonna say Kurt has one point. Three, two, one, that. Come on, Hyperion, giving you another shot. Kurt's only got one point. You can do this. And even so, Curse of Tomb is winning. Universe SPM is very cool. I really like it. Um, I think if you keep using it, it gets a little better. Do you that? Right, fresh out of the box, it's not as free spinning as the Chakra Tommy version, but I believe with more, with more use, it gets slightly better. Wow, Curse with that huge hit and easy win. Three to zero. Oh my gosh. If Curse easily wins here, Curse easily wins here. I'm not gonna hide it or anything. Three to one there. Right. Right. Come on. Whoa! Huge hit! Let's go! Oh no, Curse. Okay, Curse is going into the center. Hyperion! Come on, let's go! There are no there are no, there are no Yes! Burst! Finish. I was going to say there were no bursts, but I take that back. Three to two. Yes. Hyperion burst did curse the tomb. Let's go. Hyperion moment. That was awesome. Ah, uh, yes. Long awaited burst finish. After. Long awaited burst finish. Three, two, one, left. Oh, Curse is gonna get some mad revenge here. Mad revenge. See, the flow frame really does help. The flow frame really does help the tune. Like, it's not taking any L's. And, well, well, huge L's. Well, it did take that huge L when it came to the burst, but nothing to do with the flow frame. Do you notice it's a lot more stable? Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, another huge L! Hyperion with the comeback. Now it's four to four. Tie game. Wow. Let's see who wins. Curse might actually lose this time. See, now that Hyperion can actually move like an attack type, it can get the hits. Which one? Right. Who will win, Curse or Hyperion? Or I, no, I, I, I have to say, um, Satoom or Hyperion. Come on. Oh no. Oh, despite that comeback, Curse the Tomb dominates. Well, it didn't really dominate that one. It kind of took an L there, but whatever. All right.
I was gonna, I was hoping for them to like land like so they would kind of like face the camera. So, uh, oh, none of this is gonna be in the thumbnail or anything, okay? I'm just, I'm just doing it for reasons. Thank y'all for watching this awesome battle between Curse of Tomb and Super Hyperion. Wow. Wow, that was sick. That was pretty sick. Hyperion versus the tomb twice, guys. Twice in a Did it do it twice in a row? I don't know. I wonder if I miscounted on one of the rounds. Besides the very first one, because the very first one in this vault Naka Sam didn't count. I just decided not to count it. But hey! That was just really good. That was really good. That was really good. Really good. Alright. Thank y'all for watching, and stay tuned for the next matchup, Glide Rock Devore versus Super Hyperion. Keep blading.